What's shaking, everyone? So if you are unaware of this latest stunt by Antifa and Black Lives Matter, I wouldn't blame you, but this Thursday, September 17th, the same collective of assholes is looking to take over the White House, to throw the orange man out. And if this narrative isn't already boring and tiring, they just keep retreading all of their same talking points over and over again. But even more vaguely, they don't really have a goal either. And it's the remnants of the Occupy Wall Street movement that's been resurrected by the same group that uh, coordinated coordinated them to begin with back in 2011 so we're gonna go through their tactical briefings ugh, page by page here and then i'm gonna wrap it up with a little bit of opinion of what i think's gonna happen and well what any normal and sane individual should do in the meantime well if you like what I do here, and if you guys appreciate the content that I do, I'd really appreciate dropping a subscribe, or if you don't mind hitting that like button, it does you guys absolutely nothing. You'll be notified of all my videos that go up twice a day right now, and in the future we're going to be expanding, and hey, the best is yet to come, so make sure you're a part of that. So let's just dive right into this. I don't know, this is cancer, absolute cancer. White House Siege Tactical Briefing Number One. I love how dramatic all these leftist movements make it. All right, all you activists, it reads. It's been nine years since we set off the political earthquake that was Occupy Wall Street. Let me ask you, what do you guys remember from Occupy Wall Street? It's been nine years, and what the fuck were they actually fighting about? Something, something, 1%, something, something, 90, just fucking worthless. They remember it, and what, everybody else just kind of went on with their life after their, you know, little hissy fit in Zucchino Park wrapped up. But, I digress. Laying siege to yeah, New York City, Zuccotti Park, and inspiring thousands of similar protests around the world. <laughs> Whatever. Try to make it bigger than it actually was. The Occupy anniversary arrives September 17th, 2020, and it may be the perfect day to trigger another global Big Bang moment, a massive collective of action of the sweetest kind of disobedience. Now, they want to play it off that this was some kind of peaceful protest, but Jesus, you listen to Tim Pool or anybody who was down there actually documenting what was happening, and it didn't stay peaceful. So, I don't know. They're trying to gaslight you in the past, and the mainstream media is trying to gaslight you in the present, and hey, guess what? Here's the third ghost to come visit Ebenezer, Scro Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah, this is already just trying to prep you for what's actually going to happen. The why hardly needs recitation, because because they don't even remember. Because for the these nine years, the shadows have only grown longer. Inequity has soared. Not a single Wall Street CEO spent a night in jail for his role in the 2008 fi financial meltdown. Politicians and corporate criminals continue to savage the public trust with impunity. And all the while, this howling void of a president, his sins too many to name. Well, you could, you know, just name one, that'd be great. Sit smugly atop a corona death toll that may surpass 200,000 Americans by Christmas. Ugh, check out my coronavirus debunk video. Yuck. It's time again for dramatic, decisive action, which is why on September 17th, in the original and enduring spirit of Occupy, we and tens of thousands of our fellow citizens will stream into Lafayette Square in Washington, D.C. Now, they think that they're being, I don't know, fucking revolutionaries or some horseshit because they're gonna... What they claim to be peaceful protesting in front of the White House for the 50 days leading up to the election, it's eventually just gonna devolve into riots and I'd imagine Trump will take swift action, but let's not discount Muriel Bowser, mayor of Washington, D.C. 
she has a propensity for letting shit like this fester and go unchecked. So I think it's very possible that this gets very, very violent. And uh, as long as they don't breach the White House grounds, I think it'll be allowed to continue through 50 days. Here's hoping it stays peaceful. I just don't, I don't buy it. But the rest of this is just, oh yeah, what's our one demand? Yeah, we want to collaborate with you. How is that a demand? They don't even know. They didn't know. But to be fair, this dropped a few weeks ago. So let's see if they've updated anything. Tactical brief briefing number two. We lay siege to the White House with that fucking disgusting mess known as Naked Athena who spread her gash to a bunch of riot officers. So I don't know. Is she going to recreate that uh, abomination towards the White House? Sweet. I don't even think Trump would grab that one. Jammers, citizens, activists. There are many to think about this White House siege. Is it a beautiful jam? A civic exorcism? A spectacular Sayonara party for dear Donald? All of the above. Absolutely. But let us not ignore the dark forces also at work. Time is short. We rely on William Barr to interpret the law justly, which he has, and he does a bitchin' job of. By the way, Will, Bill Barr is a dope. In the interest of all Americans, on the police or military to drag Trump out of the White House when he loses, being awfully presumptive there. And what's with this leftist thing that uh, Trump is just going to sit there in the White House and peacefully protest until somebody decides to come and grab him? He has never... I don't know, even purported to be doing that, but all of these harebrained idiots like that fucking war game put on by, I think it was by the Washington Post. Yeah, I don't know. These guys are all unhinged. It's pure projection, to be completely honest. We will not let Donald Trump steal the election. Phase one runs the Occupy's ninth anniversary. Yep, September 17th to election day. So realistically, they just sent out this flyer to, I don't know fucking rile up these idiots let's see what they decided to do with uh, tactical briefing number three that dropped not that long ago Ooh, a bunch of red roses that exposes them as the socialists that we already know that they are which was fairly obvious but red roses for those who are unfamiliar are constantly and frequently in social media name bars for avowed socialists communists idiots breadliners and cousin fuckers the like all right you redeemers rebels and radicals out there trump is trying to steal the election who's doing the mail-in ballots whose donations are going you know unchecked yeah one side of the aisle not the other it's got many of us pretty rattled and things could turn very very ugly as november 3rd approaches i'm pretty sure you're going to make it turn very very ugly so once again you can laugh, but the, prob but the probability of a civil war breaking out sometime next year is no joke. Mm, we'll hold for that, because I'm going to have a little bit of a more of a rant at the end. So, all you Me Tooers, Black Lives Matter activists, Extinction Rebels, Sunrisers, and Cope Pinks out there, it's time for us to start talking to each other and coordinating our actions. We'll hopefully get some sort of coordination, because nothing on here so far is coherent whatsoever together we can organize pop-up sieges at federal buildings in dozens of cities and there's another call to violence while not explicitly saying go out to your federal buildings and destroy them what happened in portland what happens in new york what happened in rochester they go to these federal buildings they go to these public buildings and destroy them and that's what they're calling for right here and this group is adbusters it's a Canadian firm. Sorry for, well, everything. God, what was the last time Canada exported anything good? Hope to make that, uh, hopefully change that. You know, doing my best here, folks. <laughs> so what's their final tactical briefing? Okay. This is what they're going to do. An improv jazz concert. What the fuck? Honestly. These guys are just so bonkers. Like I referenced earlier, what the fuck was Occupy Wall Street anyways? What did it actually accomplish?
Yeah, I don't think anybody else in this room is here, so I don't think anybody else is going to answer. I don't remember a fucking thing that's happened over the past decade. And all this is going to do is coordinate all of the riots that have been happening in Rochester, New York, in Chicago, and in Portland, and bring all of these psychopaths together and just be... It says 50. It could be less. It won't be 50. If these people go unchecked, it's going to be a lot longer. And, you know, I did mention in my intro that uh, I have a little bit of, maybe I didn't say warning, but I have a little bit of a call to action for anybody who's on the right, who doesn't want to live in a world where these leftist radicals, these breadliners just run around and want to cause havoc and interrupt normal law-abiding citizens. There was a really great comment that was left on my uh, why is it so hard for conservatives to speak up and it was very well thought. It was very, very well thought out. I was very impressed. You normally don't get that kind of discourse on YouTube and I gave a thoughtful and very, uh, very well thought out reply to that as well. It is fucking cold here so if i'm shivering on camera i do apologize but anyways yeah so there was one point that i wanted to bring up and end this video with okay it is dangerous for conservatives to speak you do have a possibility of losing any sort of financial stability look at laura loomer for example she can't use <laughs> basically any kind of social media because you know, she's conservative, and yeah, she, the left likes this as xenophobic views, but uh, she has legitimate Islamic concerns, and she voiced them, and yeah, she paid a huge toll, and hopefully she gets elected, because she's running for house, uh, how, federal house seat in Miami-Dade, Mar-a-Lago County. So, like I was saying, though, conservatives have a tough time speaking out, mostly because a, we're not likely to go the rally or, you know, cause a big stink for anything that we believe in. The last time that any kind of conservative group got together for any sort of a rally was the Tea Party movement. And, well, what did they do? They set up, had a Tea Party, left the square cleaner than how they found it, and immediately got smeared by the media. And that's what happens with any sort of political gathering from the right. You get smeared, and if your employer or if anybody who has any sort of golden handcuffs placed on you decide that your ideas are not in line with what we want to do, you stand to lose a lot. And I understand that. I started this YouTube page because I believe it's important to tell the truth, to look at all the information available, and present it as best I can. And even if you guys out there are afraid to speak because you have so much to lose, I do understand that. But by looking at my videos, by looking at videos of people who also share my opinion, as well as sensible people in the center and on the left, the best thing you can do is marshal your arguments, gather the information, and you don't have to be boisterous about it. You don't have to run around with a MAGA hat on. You don't have to run around espousing the virtues of conservatism or libertarianism. All you need to do is, when you are confronted with the fraudulent ideas, or you're confronted with lies, just know that you have the correct information. And if you feel comfortable with correcting that information in a non-confrontational way, by all means... That is what you guys can do out there. And that's the first step. So that uh, hopefully we get back to some kind of normal. Because when the left calls, we want to return to normalcy. What they really want is just power. And all of these riots are just going to continue. So, At the risk of rambling on any further, I think I'll just cut it there, guys. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video.
I really appreciate you guys watching my stuff here. It's been a ton of fun doing these videos and hey man, we're going to be expanding here in the near future and things are going to get tighter and hopefully a new setup. So if you have anything that you'd like to say, feel free to drop it down in the comments below. Hit me up with the sub, drop a like on this video if you appreciate what I'm doing here. All the sources will be in the description as usual. Anyways, guys, I've been Don Consuelo. I want you guys to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.